I've just been watching one of those highlight reels on YouTube about America's Got Talent and I was blown away by this one contestant. And it really struck me that when we go through life looking at ourselves and each other and going, oh, I really hope something great comes out of you <laughs> and actually looking for that greatness to come out of each other, what an awesome way to live with ourselves and with others around us. So in this video, I'm just going to share some of what that looks like through the eyes of God. Hi there, I'm Lisa Vandenberg from Salt Solutions Coaching, where we love empowering the 2.0 version of you. We love walking with you to do exactly what we'll talk about in this video, calling out the gold in you, seeing it, calling it out, and then empowering you to walk out life like only you and Jesus can. So if you're new here, consider liking and subscribing and sharing this channel with your friends. So I was I've been watching these uh, YouTube clips of America's Got Talent and this particular one, there was a young African-American boy standing on the stage and he's in front of the judges and Simon's talking to him and, you know, interviewing him and he doesn't have very much to say. It's just sort of one, one word answers, All right? And a very straight look on his face. And he opened his mouth. He must have been about 11 years old. He opened his mouth and out of his mouth comes the most exquisite operatic voice right? Totally different to what we might expect, but it was, it was absolutely beautiful to see. And, you know, as he, as he reached these astounding notes, the audience was on their feet, the judges were on their feet. I was yelling and going, yes, you can do it. You can go for it, right? And there's something beautiful in the human spirit when we expect to see the good in each other, when we expect to see the gold in each other. Right? So what if you actually woke up tomorrow morning and when you looked at yourself in the mirror, you say, God, what is the goal that you see in me? God, what is the beauty that will come out of me today that might not be expected on the surface, that I don't even expect when I look at myself in the morning, you know, with no makeup on, and yeah, you've just, uh, just woken up and your hair is all over the place or whatever, right? But the things that we might not even expect to see in ourselves, but when we partner with Jesus and see ourselves through his eyes, then amazing things, amazing fruit comes out of us as we're partnered with him each day. And then, not only that, let's go a step higher. What if that looks like then expecting to see that gold and that fruit in other people too? What if we were walking around each day going, Lord, what's the beauty in that person? Lord, what can that person do? Lord, how do you show up through that person? And we had that expectation of the goodness and greatness in people instead of what we can sometimes walk around in default and is definitely the default of most of what we see on TV and movies is actually criticizing somebody else instead, right? I want to invite you today. Jesus is inviting you today to, to go around the day and go, Lord, will you show me the beauty in myself, the beauty in others, the beauty all around me that you know is there? Will you highlight it to me? Will you make it, will you make me aware of it? And then will you help me to stop for a moment and really appreciate all the beauty, all the wonder, all the amazing things that are in ourselves and others and things around us today. Ah, beautiful way to be. So this is what we love going through with our clients. We, we take clients from where they are perhaps stuck in something at, the, at this time, stuck in a decision, stuck in uh, wondering what it is that God's called them to do or have a plan but just don't know how to walk it out. And we absolutely love taking people from where they are to where it is that God has them to be. So come across and visit us at saltsolutionscoaching.com and let's get you firmly feet planted on the path that God has for you and then running in the direction that he's called you to do the race that he has called you to run. So, as always, Jesus is inviting you on an adventure today. Will you accept? Bless you, bless you, bless you, and I'll see you next time.